the 2019 Ford F-150. This particular trim is the King Ranch. This has everything on it, you bet. Loaded, beautiful leather interior, King Ranch symbol stitched in and embroidered into the uh, leather interior. This particular vehicle, the Ford F-150 line, starts at $28,155, goes all the way up to $67,135 and $52,855 for the Raptor. This is available with a uh, 3.5 liter V6, 450 horsepower, with 510 pound-foot of torque, propelled with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Ground clearance is 8.8 .8 inches to 11.5 inches. It has either a 23 gallon or a 36 gallon fuel tank. Wheelbase goes from 122.4 inches to 141.1 inches. Towing is 5,000 to 13,000 pounds. It does have a fully boxed high strength steel frame. And again, this is the King Ranch version. Show you the tailgate and the uh, uh, rear view camera there. Parking sensors. It does have the Echo Boost engine. Rear sliding window. Chrome door handles. This is the FX4 off wheel off road package. Even the uh, big wheels have the King Ranch symbol brand, if you will, in the middle. And again, a quick shot of the interior buttons. And there we are. This is the 2019 Ford. F-150, and this is the King Ranch Edition. Man, it's a sharp looking. Just an overall look here. You got, of course, power seats, heated, uh, cool seats there, panoramic sunroof. I like the uh, logos in the seat and the armrest. Okay. Pre-positioned memory, automatic running boards, Climbing here, and we'll just take a look. You do have a large uh, driver information display system between the physical gauges or the analog gauges. The typical steering wheel controls over here. You got about a seven, eight inch uh, display over here in the middle. And you have also physical buttons to control that. You have your uh, dual climate control right here. Physical buttons. There we are. This right. is the 2019. And then up here, you do have a storage right up in here. You have the um, the uh, automatic dimmy mirror. You have up here your center console at the top. I really kind of like these. I wish I could turn these on. These little LED lights in the corner, as well as down in here. Uh, it's uh, quite interesting. So when we get a chance to review one here in the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll be taking a look and see what those are, are like. I'd almost, yeah, I'll be interested to see where those aim. Uh, coming down here, of course, you have your two-wheel drive, four-wheel uh, four, four drive automatic, four high, four low, and then uh, trailering backup, and then your brake setting for your trailer. And then you here you again you have just a massive armrest, right? <laughs> like the other full size pickups. Oh my goodness! And you could put a fish uh, fish tank in here and still have some room. Now you do have way down on the bottom down here. You do have a 12 volt outlet. It's down there. And then a uh, couple holders for the rear passengers. Quickly, here's the back of the F-150. Again, I really like the wood grain trim that they've added to the middle of the door there. Um, and just, you know, everything's kind of uh, supersized on these. It's just, they're, they're so spacious, these large pickups. Um, I, I sort of think of them as an SUV without the cover on the back. Uh, I mean, there's there's like um, eight inches from my knee to the seat. But ample headroom, seat pockets on both driver and passenger seat. You do have heated seats here. You have 12 volt outlet. You have got um, dual USBs and then a 110 volt, 400 watt max three prong outlet. Super comfortable. You do have a center armrest. 
you can pull down and then it has in the middle right here your cup holders it's the power sliding rear central window 